Yeah. Um, number one, you know, I have a lot of respect for Creighton. Uh, you know, watching all the film that we watch, I, I mean, I told our, our told our team, I told our staff, I mean, I felt like they were playing as good as any team in the entire country over the last few weeks. I mean, what they did to Villanova, uh, Georgetown, and DePaul was extremely impressive. And, you know, so Coach McDermott does a great job. they got a great program. You know, they got a team that's going to go very, 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 very deep into March. Um, I thought our guys were ready, man, and I think it started with our seniors. Um, our team had a different vibe to it today. It just did, and I think it starts with our seniors. You know, I was, I'm, I'm happy that we were able to send Paul Scruggs, uh, Brian Griffin, uh, Nate Johnson, and Jason Carter out the right way. Um, those all four have meant so much to us. You know, you think about Brian Griffin and Nate Johnson. They committed here without ever meeting me in person, um, which which was maybe a good thing. Um, they never saw campus, uh, and and they jumped on board uh, without a ton of information. And we've been so appreciative of what those two young men have brought to our program this season. Obviously, Nate's hurt right now. Um, but, you know, I, I told him he can still plays a vital role for our team, the energy he brings on the bench and whatnot. Uh, I thought Brian, who's kind of getting back into the fold, uh, coming out of his uh, protocols uh, that he was out for 17 days, uh, he, he, I thought he impacted the game in a very positive way. And then, you know, Jason Carter, this is his second year. You know, I think a lot of times people are going to look at the stat sheet and say, hey, well, Jason didn't have any points today. He did have five rebounds. He had three block shots. He played tremendous defense. Everybody has a role on our team. And the key to it is you've got to play to your strengths. And Jason does that. And I thought he really impacted the game. And he's impacted several games for us this year. And just really appreciative of what he's done for our program as well. And then Paul Scruggs, obviously, this is his fourth year here at Xavier. And, you know, Paul, uh, you could just tell he wasn't going to let our team lose today. He had that look uh, from start to finish. I thought he was the best player on the floor from start to finish. Um, he just has that toughness, man. And I just remember seeing Paul, like I, I always tell everybody, eighth grade, first time I watched him play. And he was same height. He was a center. And now you see him making all these plays, and he's one of the top ten players in the country in assists per game. Um, how, how far he's come along, just as a person, uh, student, and player. And that's what Xavier's all about, is just the overall development of our student athletes. But just extremely appreciative of all four seniors that we have. Um, you know, I thought everybody on our team, you know, I called each guy last night on our team and just said, hey, man, like, play to your strengths. Um, you know, we need everybody. You know, when you lose a guy like Nate, who's a, who's a tremendous player, who's been really good for us all year, we need guys to step up. You got to put your big boy pants on. And got to be good on both ends, not just one end. And I thought everybody on our team, everybody, positively impacted our team on both ends of the floor tonight. And that's against one of the best offensive teams in the entire country. And I thought we made them earn their points. Um, I thought we controlled the tempo. I thought we really got the ball reversed uh, side to side, which helped our defense as well. Um, but really proud of our guys and just the effort that they had, the toughness that they had playing back to our identity of being a tough, nasty basketball team. <laughs> Travis, it's been a little while since we've seen a complete performance like this from your team. And, you know, why do you think that, that your team was able to find it when you needed it the most? I think our leadership of our guys, Adam, I always go back to those guys, you know, the captains that we have um, for Scruggs, um, Fremantle, and Carter. They do a great job. And, and I got to do a better job, Adam. I got to figure these guys out. It's an odd year, obviously, having all these protocol, you know, these, these pauses and whatnot. And, you know, the biggest thing at this time of the year is the mental aspect of it, right? Part of it is physical as well, you know, being fresh. But, like, how driven are you? How are the vibes? Like, how, you know, how's your mojo? And I thought we had that tonight, and, and we had to have that moving forward. And, I, and it's like I told our guys, though, I said, hey, listen, as good as we feel right now, nothing's ever as good as it seems and nothing's as, ever as bad as it seems, right? Somewhere in between. You know, we have to prepare just like we did against Creighton, uh, the same you know, how we did for them for the next game. You know, my mind's already kind of moved on to Georgetown um, because we got another big opportunity with them. But I thought, again, it starts with our leadership of our players, just getting our, you know, Paul, Jason, and Zach got our guys ready. Next question, Brandon. Hey, Travis, how proud are you of, of your guys for, for the fight? I mean, it's like you, you've said all along, it's been weird with pauses and ups and downs, but this is a statement win. This is one that you, that you guys needed to get to March. 
not saying you're 100% in yet, but it's a big statement win. How proud are you of your guys for showing the fight to get a big win like this? Extremely proud. You know, it's, it's, it's funny, man. Like, again, it, it, I always use, go back to the Albert Einstein quote, you know, uh, adversity uh, introduces a man to himself, right? And we've been, we haven't been playing well. We haven't. You know, I mean, the last few games we've, we've struggled on the defensive end. It's been, uh, and we have, and we've given up way too easy of shots. Uh, we've been late on our rotations. Um, our offense, I thought, was too much on one side of the floor, the first side. You know, we, we, we addressed it. Our guys are starting to get their habits back. I think we're starting to get our legs back. Um, just, again, the, the, you could tell that the fight was there. Like, we were going to make them earn their points. And I told those guys, hey, listen, they are go you're not going to pitch a shutout against Creighton. You're just not. They're too good. They're going to make a couple shots. They're going to make some tough contested ones. Um, but you got to be unflappable and keep swinging, keep swinging, keep swinging. And, uh, and I thought our guys did that for 40 minutes tonight. Next question, Joe. Yeah, Coach, obviously you guys got great contributions from your seniors today, but I thought your freshmen too really stepped up. Um, obviously, Blon had a big game, was clutched down the stretch, but I thought you got great minutes out of CJ and uh, Colby as well. I agree. I mean, you look down at the stat sheet, and again, it's th this number isn't always indicative of everything, but I mean, Colby Jones was plus 25 for the game when he was in the game. Um, just shows you how big of an impact he has. He impacts it defensively, rebounding, passing. He can score a little bit. And then, like you said, Dewan was, I thought, uh, I told him they were going to play off him a little bit. Creighton's very scouting specific. We didn't have Dewan in game one against Creighton back in December. And I said, man, you take the action to them. You use that as like a downhill start. I said, you're the best athlete on the floor. Use your athleticism. And he was terrific defensively. I mean, Zagorowski is, is I mean, he's phenomenal. Phenomenal. And he made him earn everything that he got. And then C.J. Wilcher. I'm really, really, really proud of C.J. I really challenged him. I said, hey, I know, obviously, when you lose a guy like Nate in his shooting, I recognize we need shooting and scoring on the floor. He stepped up defensively as well against one of the best offenses in the entire, in the entire country. He was locked in. He was ready to go. CJ can, is a big X factor for our team, in my opinion. And I thought he was really, really good on both ends of the floor tonight. Adam? Travis, you were, uh, you were moving quite a bit in front of your bench there. It looked like you wanted to get in that game. Were you thinking about it? Yeah, I would have loved to. Uh, now, you know, again, just trying to trying to create energy for our guys at, at the right times, you know, and and because uh, our, our again, our team, we had to get back to just being happy. <laughs> I know it sounds weird, but now you need to, need to see a couple shots fall. That makes that makes it a little bit easier, right, to find that happiness um, and that joy for playing. Um, but again, I you know, shoot, you have to guard Creighton basically with six guys. I was the sixth defender out there on the floor sometimes. Next question, Tim. Uh, Travis, it seems like you got a lot more tonight from Adam Kunkel as far as uh, we've seen him shoot a lot. We also know he has that ability, but he was attacking the rim quite a bit tonight as well. Is this something you guys have coached him on, or is that more like his instincts kicking in out there? Or, um, you know, because it was something he did quite a bit in high school, so it's cool to see him do it again at this level. Yeah, I, I think Tim, like, I, you know, I keep on – telling him I've told him several times and he's 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 finally listening here it feels like or getting into a groove he has to be a player right he's he's not a uh, he's not a he's not just a shooter he's athletic he has great instincts um, he can make guys better um, with his handle his pass and he did that and again as good as he was offensively again I thought again I've challenged Adam I said hey man teams have to stop picking on you on the other end you can't, you can't do I can't play a lot of minutes if you're not going guard. And Adam was really good. Like, he was trying – I mean, Mitch Ballack is, is a circus act out, out there with his shots that he makes. And him chasing him around all over the floor, I thought he made him work. Um, and I thought Adam had a lot of fight, uh, which was really good. So I thought he played a complete game on both ends of the floor, which he's fully capable of doing. I told him last night when I talked to him on the phone, I was like, dude, you're a big-time player. There's a reason why you're here at Xavier. You're ready for this, man. Let's have fun. Let's compete. Let's get after it. You know, you're going to be one of the better players on the floor, and he was tonight. Brandon? You mentioned just being happy out there. When we talked to Paul, he said just, just having fun is different. It makes the, it, Obviously, winning is fun, but just having fun out there makes things um, better for this team. Is there a way to create that, or does it just happen organically? How did you see that progress where you knew they were going to come out today and just play that way? 
Yeah, you know, I, I kind of just told our guys, I said, man, you got to go back to when you were in third grade or second grade and fourth grade and just, you know, go back. What, why did you start playing basketball, right? And sometimes, you know, whether it's you, you, you create this, uh, this block in your head and you put so much pressure on yourself, you know, and, and it's like, man, just play free. Have fun. Enjoy the moment. You know, you know be where your feet are, right? and live in the moment. Don't worry about what's next, what's to come, or what people think. N none of that matters at the end of the day. What matters is, is, is how we, uh, what our mindset is towards that, you know, because that's where, you know, when you start thinking about yourself less, right, that, that, that's when you start to find happiness. When you're so self-consumed sometimes, you, you know, whether you miss a shot or you're not playing well, you know, you start getting in your own head. And when you start caring about others, you know, and we always talk about caring your brother is one of our core values, um, it's easier to find that happiness. And I thought we had that tonight. Nate? Hey, Travis. The defense today seemed to play with a different energy, getting after it. The offense, ball was moving. Um, when you woke up today, did you have a feeling that you were going to see this type of Xavier basketball today? I did, man. I, I thought our guys were ready. We had a really good practice yesterday. We had a really good shoot around today. A really good warm up today. I thought our guys were locked in and ready to roll. And because again, I, I and you said it, Nate. Like I think number one, we got to get the ball reversed. We have to play against Providence. I think we had 19 possessions on the first side of the floor. We had six turnovers and not, and uh, and uh, and I think we only scored 10 points, which is 0.55 points per possession. And I told our guys, our goal is 1.07. I said, so first side doesn't work. We got to get the ball reversed um, and get it moving. Share the ball. Everybody feels better, and you feel more connected when you get back to that. And I finally thought we got that back, and I thought that helped our defense as well. Right? The, the longer our possessions are on offense, the less defense we have to play. Right? It's like time of possession. You know, football, it's a big stat, maybe not as much in basketball, but I, I, thought, uh, I thought we did a good job of that tonight. One last question, Adam. Travis, you said that you, you called all of your guys on the phone last night. Um, is that a new thing that, that you did for this game? And did any of those conversations lead you to believe then and there that, that your guys might be ready to go for this game? Yeah. You know, I, I think the, uh, the, the number one job of a leader, right, is to get people to believe in themselves, right? And, and uh, I don't do it every game, Adam, but I felt like, you know, I felt like some of our guys were starting to doubt themselves or – Maybe even doubt how I feel about them, um, or because you start to hear a lot of negativity, right? There's a lot of negativity out there, and that's all everybody wants to talk about. Um, you know, I just wanted to give those guys and get. They're, they're here for a reason. They're here for a reason, and we believe in them. And I love our team. I love our team. I love the guys that we have in there. I love our culture. Um, even though, even when we get, when we've lost games, I love our group, and we're heading in the right direction. I know that. And, but, again, I just want to make sure our guys knew, again, play to your strengths. You're here for a reason. I believe in you. Let's go get this win, you know, today. And, uh, like I said, man, hope if, that, if that was the thing that worked, Adam, I don't know if it was the, you know, the, the miracle worker or whatever, but, you know, but we're going to keep on work doing it. I know that. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.